Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to answer question number 38 of IMA 2019. This is Ari from Mentor Med School and like always make sure to check the link links in the description in order to get a lot of study materials for the IMAT exam. So this question is actually the second question we have about genetics and it tells you how important studying genetics and inheritance for the actual IMAT exam is very important. An animal has a coat that has some patches of white and some patches of black hair. Some animals show this, usually female animals, for cats for example, have something that is very special for females specifically and it's the formation of bar body from X chromosome and the expression of a single X chromosomes inside each cell. So you might have, for example, two different alleles, but only one allele will be expressed in every cell due to the formation of bar bodies from the X chromosomes of the females. So cells that make up hair follicle form a single hair. It means one hair, one cell, one hair, which is either white or black. It means it's either expressing the white allele or either expressing the black allele. Assume that there are no mutations following the formation of the zygote. A student wrote the following statement. 1. The cells in all the hair's follicles contain the same genes. They do contain the same genes. The question, like we saw in question number 37 and 36, in the previous questions, we do have the same genes we don't have the same expressions of genes. So one is obviously true. The alleles in the hair follicle forming a white hair are different from the alleles in the hair follicle forming a black hair. And as you can see, it's asked you the alleles. The alleles are the same alleles, but the question is the expression of those alleles. One allele can be expressed in one cell and the different allele can be expressed in the other cell. So this is not correct. Each white hair follicle cell contains two recessive alleles. So each white hair follicle cell contains two recessive alleles. It doesn't make sense because if you have two alleles, you already have no black alleles. So this is why I think this question talks about a bar body formation of the X chromosomes in females and not actually alleles of different cells. Because if you had two white recessive, all the hairs will be white. And if you had black dominant and white allele, all the, bla all the cells will be, hairs will be black and the same other way around. So this is why 3 is not true and A is only correct. 